Hello, Jeremy here. This is the third and final part of my tutorial in how to build uh, an application to do sub subtitling for the HoloLens. Um, this time what we're going to look at is using the dictation recognizer object to basically get the HoloLens to hear what is being said and then we're going to convert it into text and display it on the screen. So uh, let's get started. So I've opened up the application already in Unity. Um, got a little bit of feedback, really sensible feedback that in Unity it would be much more helpful if I showed the HUD screen face on rather than looking at it from the back. So that's what I've done here. So next thing to do is start to do some C sharp scripting. I've created the script in part two and yeah, we're just going to open this in Visual Studio now. Okay, here's the script that I created before. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another public property which refers to the subtitles on the screen. So public text underscore subtitle text. Next I'm going to create a new method. Instead of using start I'm going to use the awake method. And this is where I'm going to instantiate the dictation recognizer. First, I'm going to declare it. The system doesn't know what the dictation recognizer is, but I can just click on the yellow bubble and just include the library there. So we're going to go into the awake method just instantiate it here. That's that easy. So we're going to have to register some methods for the dictation recognizer. There's three that we'll care about. The dictation hypothesis, dictation result, and dictation complete methods. So we're going to have to register three events for a dictation recognizer object. Hypothesis, result, and complete. So I'm going to register each of these events and I'll describe how I'm going to use them after I've registered them. Okay, the first one is dictation hypothesis. And basically this is going to tell us whenever the application is thinking, whenever it's trying to work out what is it that's heard and what is it going to display on the screen. We're not actually going to use the text output from this. It's literally going to be a case of when this event is called, we know it's trying to do something. So this is the first thing we're going to do. It's quite simple, we just do plus equals tab to insert. There we go. So the next one we're going to look at is dictation result. So this is the event that's going to be fired once it's actually decided. I'm pretty confident I know what I've heard. So I'm going to give you the text for that. So that's what we're going to use to output text to the subtitle object, the subtitle UI object in the Unity uh, HUD. And finally, we're going to use the dictation complete event to determine when the dictation recognizer has detected it's not being used anymore. So the application should go back to sleep. Okay, so these are our three methods declared in our code. So we just need to get some actual logic into these methods to make it do something useful. So let's look at dictation result first. This is the easiest one. So what we want to do is set the text, which is passed in, into the subtitle text object. So that's dead easy. Now next, we need to do something a little bit more complicated. As I said, in the dictation hypothesis event, we want to 
do something to signal that the application is thinking. So we've got some methods down here for listening and sleeping. So let's create another method for when the application is thinking. So it's just going to be very similar to some of the existing ones. So I'm going to copy and make some changes. We already have a PNG in the Unity application called thinking. Let's just update this. Okay. So all we need to do here is in the hypothesis, dictation hypothesis method, we just need to say, make it look like the application is thinking. So that's basically it for there. So let's change one thing here in our set sleeping method. Something that's just occurred to me is that whenever we want to set it to sleeping, we want to set the subtitle text to blank because we don't want it to just sit with what was the last thing that was translated sitting there forever. So let's change this quickly. Okay. And also, once we've specified the dictation result and rendered it to the screen, we probably want to change the little visual cues just to say, I'm listening for the next thing. So let's change this to set listening as the next thing it does after it puts the subtitle text on the screen. And also, whenever we think that our dictation is complete, whenever the application reckons there's nothing left to listen to, we want to set it to the sleeping um, indicator again. So let's put set sleeping in here too. So one thing we haven't done yet is tell the application or tell the dictation recognizer object to start listening or stop listening. So something we want to do in the dictation complete event is tell the dictation recognizer to stop listening out for things. So let's just do that here. It's very easy, just call the stop method. But one thing we haven't done yet is actually tell the application to start listening anywhere. So we want it to start listening after we've uh, executed the tapped event. Now we put some code in there last time. So we've got set listening here, which kind of makes sense. We're updating it, the, the interface to say that we've started listening. So let's put dictation recognizer dot start in here and similarly if we've manually told the application to stop listening let's add that in here as well okay so let's see where we are once we've received a tapped event if it's sleeping we set the application visual cues to sleeping and tell the dictation recognizer to stop listening, which is good. If we send a tapped event and we want it to wake up, we set the visual cues to listening and we say we're going to start recognizing uh, things that are being heard by the microphone. When the microphone is hearing something and trying to work out what it's going to render to the screen or what it's ultimately going to tell us that it's heard, we go to dictation hypothesis event and we set the set thinking method, which changes the visual cues to say, I'm thinking about what the result should be. Once the dictation recognizer has worked out what the result should be, we're going to update the subtitle text to text and then set it back to listening again. If the dictation recognizer hasn't heard anything in a while, we're just going to say, all right, let's switch it off and set the visual cues to sleeping. So I think this is actually pretty close to being done now. So let's go back to Unity. So what we need to do here is update the subtitle text property, which has got nothing in it yet, with the subtitle text that's on the canvas HUD. Let's just drag and drop that in there. So we've got a couple more things to do here. Um, I had initialized the subtitle text to sleeping, but I think I actually want to delete that so that it's blank whenever the application opens up. The other thing that we absolutely need to do is add the microphone capability and also the internet client capability. So let's go to the player settings. 
and in publishing let's scroll down and select internet client and microphone let's save that let's build it and we select app and when that's built we'll fire it up in visual studio okay let's go to visual studio reload that from disk. Let's build that. And let's run it without debugging in the emulator. And it's ready to deploy and test in a device. Okay, that's it. Hope this was helpful. See you again.